We have reopened factories, so the factories were able to work through the conditions to reopen. They're reopening. Susan Lee from Fox Business is here with more of her Oh, look at you. that. Good morning. Can they repeat Samuel Adams' success? Probably the biggest thing in the beer business since craft beer. Boston Beer's chairman talks strategy on Barron's Roundtable. Presented by Invesco QQQ. Here's to greater possibilities together. Shop the polished casual event at Men's Warehouse for versatile looks at smart prices. Sport coats start at $139.99 and designer suits are 60% off. Plus dress or casual pants and casual shirts are two for $80. Only at Men's Warehouse. They're smart, and then they're street smart. Like a hybrid with best-in-class EPA estimated range of more than 582 miles. And Ford Copilot 360 technology to help you outsmart some of the things you'll encounter on the road. With more available second-row legroom than a Chevy Suburban. This is the completely reimagined Street Smart 2020 Ford Escape. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Robert Goldwater. I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Then I found out the weed killer Roundup may have caused my cancer. The company knew it wasn't safe. How could they do this to people? The Roundup manufacturer has been ordered to pay $2 billion to victims of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Call 1-800-910-4500. That's 1-800-910-4500. Guys, living on junk food? Stop. Eat real food that tastes great and lose weight with Nutrisystem for Men. You just select, heat, and eat, and you're going to lose the weight. Lose up to 18 pounds and 8 inches overall in your first month. Money back guaranteed. Check us out today and get protein-packed shakes free. Heat up the food. That's it. Act now. Buy one month. Get one free. Go online or call 877-352-FIT3 right now. Buy one month. Get one free. My patients, I often see them have teeth sensitivity as well as gum issues. Does it worry me? Absolutely. They are both very much hand in hand, so you should really be focusing on both and definitely at the same time. The new Sensodyne sensitivity in gum gives us a dual action effect that really takes care of both our teeth sensitivity as well as our gum issues. By brushing with Sensodyne sensitivity in gum at home, it's giving you the relief that you need and the control that you need to take care of your oral health. And it creates a healthier environment. There's no question it's something that I would recommend. If you're health conscious, chances are you're paying way too much for your life insurance. That's why we started Health IQ. To reward health conscious runners, weightlifters, cyclists, and vegetarians with savings up to 41% on life insurance. Because our research shows activities like running lower your risk for things like heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. So you should pay less for life insurance. See if you qualify to save. Go to healthiq.com TV and get your free quote today. The Ingram Angles live in South Carolina. Ahead of the Democratic primary, Laura gets the pulse on the state's voters and learns which candidates have a fighting chance tonight on Fox News Channel. What's in your gutters? Don't worry about those old gutters any longer. You know the ones that clog, freeze, warp, even fall off your home. That's why you need LeafGuard. LeafGuard, the only seamless one-piece rainwater management system with a clog-free guarantee. We attach it to the fascia using our patented hanger system with screws, not nails. It's not coming down. And remember, with LeafGuard, you get a lifetime transferable warranty. And if you call right now, you're going to take advantage of our winter half-off sale. Half-off labor on a complete LeafGuard system. Get on our early installation schedule. And if you call today, we have a nice gift for you. $25 gas card with your free gutter inspection and in-home estimate. Call during this program. We're going to double your gift from a $100 to a $200 gift card with the purchase of LeafGuard. Call 1-800-314-8608 and we'll double your gift with purchase. 1-800-314-8608. iPhone is built everywhere in the world. We have key components coming from the United States with key parts that are in China and, and so on and so forth. When you look at the, the parts that are done in China, 
Uh, we have reopened factories, so the factories were able to work through the conditions to reopen. They're reopening. They're also in ramp, and so I think of this as sort of the third phase of getting back to normal, and we're in phase three of the, of the ramp mode. That is Apple CEO Tim Cook sitting down with Fox Business Network's Susan Lee, sounding optimistic as the company works through conditions in China amid the coronavirus outbreak. And Susan Lee joins us right now. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think a lot of people, Susan, had heard that the plants had closed, but now they're reopening. Yeah, reopening slowly. Yeah. And also some of their stores, about 30 of the 42 stores that they operate in China right. have reopened. Right. But Apple's a special case because not only do they build about 50% of their iPhones in China, they also get 20% of their sales in China. The average company, the U.S. company, only gets around 5 to 6 to 7% of their right. sales from China. So Apple arguably is probably the most successful U.S. company that's ever been able to penetrate the Chinese market. Because when people think of this virus and the toll, they think of Apple first. But I didn't know there was only 50% of their production from there, number one. And when he comes out and says, we're getting back to normal, yeah. that's a huge statement. It is a huge statement, and it should be huge for the stock. But given the market sentiment right now, we're looking at the right. worst week since 2008. And I asked him, what about supply disruptions heading past June of this year, which would be the second quarter of the year? Take a listen to what he said. Do you anticipate disruptions to last past the second quarter? Well, there, our second quarter is a quarter we're in, just to, to be clear with our investors, right, is the March quarter, uh, your calendar first quarter. And so I don't know the answer to that yet. Uh, we're still in February, and, you know, there's, there's reason for optimism, but, but we'll see. You know, the, um, I, I think the, the focus in the last few days have turned off of China on to Korea and Italy. And so I think it's very important to see what happens there and whether uh, something new comes out of that. Susan. Now, I didn't get a sense of panic from Tim Cook. He's seen this before. And by the way, Apple is a big heavyweight on the S&P 500. It represents 5% of the index. Only five companies in history have had that type of influence. But from my gauge of how he feels, and they've been reducing, by the way, their manufacturing in China, I don't get a sense of panic. I think he understands, and I think the market understands that the demand is there. People will buy their iPhones once the production is right. back up and running and the stores are open. Susan, I didn't realize... Go ahead, Steve. Well, I was just going to say the reason the stock market is tanked, yeah. and it's great to hear him say those things, is just because of uncertainty. Yes. But he sounds pretty certain. He sounds pretty certain, and he's the architect of their fast-moving, low-inventory supply chain, which still builds a lot in China. A lot of that has been reduced. And when I pressed him on the supply chain and whether or not you're going to move some of your manufacturing outside of China because this might be an inflection point with sure. the coronavirus, he says, first of all, I want to highlight to everybody, we're an American company. Of course, we still build a lot in America as well, including their glass and other components that go into the iPhone. You know, did he answer that question directly? No. But to, will he probably think about it? A lot of CEOs are. I, I assume yes. I didn't realize I heard the Southern accent in that interview. I didn't realize he was from Birmingham or from Alabama. He's from Alabama. Yeah. So just outside of, just in the state, and he went to Auburn. And this is a homecoming of sorts for Tim Cook. I mean, the reception he got when we tracked him across Birmingham all day I'm was sure. just a heroic homecoming. And he's there to try to educate the underrepresented communities across the city. There. Yeah, he has a program there called the uh, Education Farm, which is part of the, by the way, the White House Policy Development Force that uh, he's working on with Ivanka Trump. And here's what he had to say about it. It makes my heart sing, to, to, to just say it simplistically. Uh, you, you know, that there's so much that we can all do from an equality point of view, but one of the most important, maybe the most important, is education. And so if we can bring coding in, if we can bring creativity skills, if we can bring the intersection of those two things together, people will have an incredible future. And, and that's, that's what we're all about. Birmingham, the first to get an education farm. And Birmingham, yeah. of course, pivotal in the civil rights history. We have Martin Luther King, of course. Huge and civil rights museum. Huge, there. Yes, that's right. It was very touching. And so they just wanted to make sure that uh, they are helping those underrepresented minorities across the entire right. state. Where do we get the full interview? You get the full <laughs> interview on Fox Business, which you watch every day anyway. So the first airing will be at 12 p.m. with Neil Cavuto. And then I'll be on with Liz Clayman at 3 p.m. And we'll take you through different parts. We also asked him about his relationship with 
with President Trump, mm -hmm. especially as they seem so far apart on certain issues. And he says, yes, there are differences, but there's a lot to work together on as well. I wonder what Wall Street is going to do when they hear, yeah. the, you know, the Wall Street is. opens in an hour and six minutes. It'll be interesting to see if they take his comments, Tim Apple's comments, <laughs> about, yeah. yep, we're already reopening uh, factories in China. Demand is there. Uh, that's Susan, is. that's huge. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. Great interview. Uh, meanwhile, tw 24 minutes.